Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, I will be sharing with you some examples of home designs and layouts that may lead to potential financial loss. By examining these examples, we can better understand the feng shui issues and take proactive steps to optimize our living spaces for positive energy flow and financial prosperity. Let's get started. Let's first look at houses with larger front area but smaller back area. Here is an example. According to feng shui principles, a house with a larger front but smaller back is difficult to accumulate wealth energy. This is because the energy escapes the house faster than it can be collected. This type of layout symbolizes a strong start with great momentum but a tendency to phase out. In other words, it represents a case of great beginnings but poor endings. Living in such a house may lead to slow career progress, financial pressure, and poor financial luck. Therefore, it's important to consider the feng shui principles when designing or choosing a house to ensure that the layout fosters positive energy flow and supports prosperity. Next one is minimalist interior design. Minimalism has gained popularity as more people opt for simplicity in their homes. However, it's important to consider the size of your house or apartment when choosing a minimalist design. If you live in a large space, minimalist design may not be the best choice as it can create an empty feeling and make it difficult to accumulate wealth energy. On the other hand, minimalist design can be very suitable for small houses or apartments. Too many furniture in a small space can make it feel cluttered and block the flow of positive energy. Therefore, it's essential to consider the size of your living spaces before choosing a minimalist design. House with too many windows. In feng shui, the size, the number, and placement of windows can determine the flow of qi inside your home. Windows serve as a point of entry and exit for qi. If a house has too many large windows, it can cause positive energy to quickly flow in and out without the opportunity to accumulate within the space. This can lead to financial loss and affect the overall well-being of people living there. If this is your case, one effective way to prevent positive energy from escaping is by closing the curtains or blinds on some of the windows. Front door facing the kitchen. In feng shui, the location and layout of the kitchen can have a significant impact on one's financial well-being. For example, if the front door of a home faces directly into the kitchen, it can negatively affect the financial fortune of people living there, especially if the kitchen sink is directly visible from the front door. This type of arrangement can lead to financial losses, as water represents wealth in feng shui. If it's facing the door, it can flow directly out of the home through the front door. Therefore, it's important to consider the location of the kitchen within the home and its relationship to the front door when choosing or designing your home. House with missing corners In feng shui, the completeness of a house is considered essential for promoting good fortune and financial prosperity. Houses with missing corners in any direction can have some negative impacts on your home feng shui, resulting in missed opportunities, health issues, or financial stress. Let's have a look at the Bagua map. It divides a space into nine sectors, each associated with a specific member of the family. Missing corners in any of these sectors can have negative impacts on the fortune and luck of the corresponding family member. Therefore, it's essential to ensure that a house is complete and does not have any missing corners in any direction when choosing or building your home. Old House In feng shui, the flow of energy changes over time. An old house may indicate that its time has passed and it has entered a stage of declining qi. Therefore, it's difficult to accumulate wealth and good fortune in such a space. The declining qi of an old house can lead to a variety of negative consequences, including financial losses, health problems, and relationship issues. If we look at the flying stars theory, the flying star theory in feng shui suggests that each period has an associated auspicious star. For example, in period 4, the number 4 star is the governing star and is considered the most auspicious star during period 4 between 1924 to 1943. 
However, as time passes, the positive energy associated with the number four star gradually declines, ultimately generating negative energy. If you want to fully harness the benefits of auspicious stars, it would be best to consider demolishing your old house and rebuilding a new one that aligns with the current period. If the construction finishes after 2024, then your new house would belong to period 9. Large house with few occupants In feng shui, the size of a house should be proportional to the number of its occupants. When the size of a house exceeds the needs of its occupants, it can result in decreased vitality and energy. The excess space can result in stagnant energy, which can negatively impact the over fortune of people living there. Therefore, it's important to ensure that the size of the house matches the number of people living in it. This can help to create a more harmonious and balanced living environment that promotes good health, positive energy, and financial prosperity. Thank you everyone for watching. If you like my video, please like, comment, and share. See you next time.